Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me what happens at my bond hearing or initial appearance. Several things happen at your initial appearance or bond hearing. First, the judge is going to inform you of the charges against you. And then the judge is going to review the initial police report to determine whether or not there's probable cause for the charges. If the judge determines that you were arrested without probable cause, then you're going to be ROR'd, meaning released on your own recognizance. However, if probable cause is found to exist, then the judge is tasked with establishing whether or not you are entitled to pretrial release, and if so, then establishing the conditions for your pretrial release. If you're charged with a non-bondable offense, or if you have some other hold on you, like a bench warrant, or a fugitive warrant, or a child support warrant, or an ice hold, or any of a number of other possible detainers, or if you were either on probation or out on a pre-existing bond at the time of your arrest, then while you may get a bond on your new charges, because of your particular circumstances, you probably will not be released from custody. If this happens, the judge is going to make sure that you're represented by counsel, be it private or the public defender. And after that, your lawyer and anyone else who's present on your behalf is going to be afforded an opportunity to speak to the court as to your status. It's important to know that you're not required to say anything at all at your initial appearance. You enjoy a Fifth Amendment privilege against compulsory self-incrimination. So if you do choose to speak at your initial appearance, then know that anything you say is both being recorded and can be used against you in a subsequent proceeding. As usual in court, the less that you say, the better. So if you do speak, please limit yourself to things relative to your release, like for instance, your ties to the community, your family and health or work issues, legitimate reasons for you to be let out of jail, and whatever you do, do not discuss the facts of the case. That said, I thank you for your question, I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.